hello this is a reading about you and your specific person so today i just really wanted to bring you a reading it's an all signs reading about you and the person that you are connected to you could be any star sign yourself and this is also timeless but the person you're connected to you can be in separation you could be in a full-blown relationship it's about you and a specific person okay first thing i'm going to do is we're going to use light seers tarot we're then going to use some love oracle cards we're going to look at the shadow so oh, the cards already fallen out <clears throat> we're going to look at the shadow side of the relationship we're going to look at the light side of the relationship the challenges and the best way forward for you okay woof let's get started okay so one card just literally drifted to the floor and that card is the king of pentacles which honestly is one of my favorite cards in the entire deck so the king of pentacles is what you would call the good solid person if you look here and i always think this looks so gorgeous we've got this lovely kind of library style living room he's got a nice chunky sweater on the dog is lovely and he turns up with a coin and that ain't bad okay consistency reliability and kindness so king of pentacles it's kind of like the gold standard and what you would expect in a person what you want in a relationship um, male female doesn't matter but it's the qualities and looking to the dog it's the qualities that dogs have you know unconditional love faithfulness attention and dogs when they really engage with you they kind of look you in the eyes looking you in the eye, intimacy, seeing into this person, them seeing into you, okay? I'm going to take one more card to go with the King of Pentacles and that is kind of our overall energy for the reading. Okay, oh, oh God, I'm taking two more cards. This is interesting because, wow, two cards just fell out on their own again. Okay. If this turns out to really be your story, by the way, there will be an extended reading afterwards. In the extended, this is a full reading in itself, and then in the extended, we do channeled messages from your person. We get weird and freaky, and we take the cards further that are on the table, okay? So see how you go. If it turns out to be your message, the extended is the first link in the description box. Let's have a look at these cards. These are the three overall energy cards. We were gonna have two, but the universe has decided we're gonna have three. Let me just hone in on those a bit more. Apologies, I'm terrible at working my camera. Okay. This is rather nice. So the King of Pentacles is coming up with the Sun and the Seven of Wands. <clears throat> the sun card in the middle of course we associate this with the fire signs leo aries sagittarius by the way do go and get yourself a drink i've got ginger tea because as you can hear i've got kind of some sort of winter allergies going on sun sign is openness it's beauty it's joy there are a lot of qualities in this relationship that you have with your specific person that really open you up, okay? They really open you up. If you look at this, it's almost like a flower opening up. Very beautiful, this is a very beautiful deck. And this person somehow has the ability to light something within you that just explodes and goes out to the universe, out to other people and kind of it just makes your energy much more radiant. And this person has the ability to do this for you. There is obviously complication with this too. We're gonna to look at the shadow side as well. But I just wanna focus on that because it's really important. And if you look at this King of Pentacles alongside this, you can kind of see it just looks like this fairy dust. It looks like there's magic. It looks like there's just good energy around this person. Then we have the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands, very interesting card. Seven of Wands is Mars in Leo. 
So I'm picking up a lot of fire sign energy so far, okay, for those of you involved with a fire sign in particular. Seven of Wands is a card, it can be in the right of weight, you get somebody who's like holding up a stick and they're really defending themselves. So the Seven of Wands is a card of defence, but also when you see it in this context, Seven of Wands is a card of friendly boundaries. It walks softly and carry a big stick, but not kind of stomp about with a big old shitty stick. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's putting a softer edge on it. It's very important for you in this situation to have your, what I call, soft boundaries in place. And you can see here, she's in the lotus position. I'm not a yoga person. I mean, I do a bit really badly yoga with Adrienne, but certainly I think that's the lotus position. Let me know in the comments section because some of you will actually be good at yoga. Um, but it, for me, it's, it's a position of strong surrender, okay? There is something about your connection with this person that involves a strong surrender. For some of you, this could also be about your own fear of intimacy, which in this particular connection with this person, maybe you haven't explored that aspect of it because it's very difficult for all of us, I think, to, and I've experienced this as well, to know how our own fear of intimacy is showing up in a connection. And very often, our own fear of intimacy with the world, with early family experiences, with ourselves, with our bodies, with our soul, with our spirit, shows up most obviously in connection with the other. So in other words, of course in miracles, we always quote this, love brings up anything unlike itself to be healed. When you meet this other significant person, whatever's gone on in that relationship, three days, three minutes, three months, 300 years doesn't matter and in some cases the 300 years goes backwards in past life when you meet this person they trigger the things that need to be healed in you and one of those things that i'm picking up here is your desire to be seen your desire to be open and to be present and it may be and we often do this that when you're thinking about it, especially if you're dealing with someone who is a runner, or someone who is um, always running from intimacy, or someone who you're in a push-pull situation with, or you're in separation with, or all of the above, when you're dealing with that, it's very easy, especially if they are like a moving target, for you to be focusing your energy on their movement, on them pulling away, on them not coming close on them, where are they, that kind of, the whole hunt comes into it. And I'm definitely getting the woods and I'm getting, you know, when people, they tie things on trees like clues and I'm getting a person disappearing through the woods and the experience of following after them with your heart, your body and your soul. But I think what's coming up in this re reading is about your own ability to stay in the intimate love moment, day after day after day, and to be seen. And this is a very, it's not controversial, it's just difficult to see when you're in it, because often if you have a connection, just looking for my hot water bottle, if you have a connection, this is the sloth by the way, um, with a person that is very karmic, it's very special, it's very, it can be whatever you want to call it, you call it twin flame, you know, you call it soulmate connection, doesn't matter what you call it because it's actually individual for every person and every couple in this scenario. You're bringing up a chase around the sun and what I'm getting here very much is about your qualities of steadfastness and wanting to be seen and wanting those qualities to be tested. And in order for those qualities to be tested, you both need to be in the same place at the same time for a, a length of time, for a period of time. And this is what's going on. And it feels to me 
quite a lot like a dance. It feels like a dance around the sun and that's really strange. Chasing the sun, dance around the sun, that kind of energy. This only happens with important people in our lives. Sometimes this converts and the fight becomes the story, it becomes the journey into the relationships that endure. Sometimes this becomes the relationships in which we are psychic tourists and we are passengers, both of us, and we are like journey mates along the way. And it can be really difficult to make sense of those, okay? So let's throw some more cards. This is gonna be a really interesting reading, people. Go get yourself a drink, press pause, get a drink, glass of wine, cup of tea, glass of water, tub of Ben and Jerry's, elasticated trousers, whatever you need. I've got my elasticated trousers on, I can tell you. To be honest, there aren't many of my trousers that aren't elasticated now, but there you go. Okay, so seven of wands. We have the soft, healthy boundaries versus the fight the defensiveness. Defensiveness is coming up for both of you in this situation, okay? It's like, I'm really getting this pursuit through the woods. I don't know what that is about. So for some of you, there may have been a walk in the woods or a woodland area or a hike or something, or a place where you go that's special or you went with this person. We'll have a look. We'll see if any more signs come up for that as well. We often get in these, particularly in the specific person um, reading, we often get a, we get some signs and symbols that show up and I'm feeling like that's going to happen. Okay. What else do we need to know about, oh, see every single card is helping itself to the floor. <coughs> oh yes. Okay, Queen of Cups energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So it may be that you are Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or that this is prominent in your chart, okay? But it can also mean, regardless of star sign, and I'm not sure this reading is entirely about star signs either, it feels like this is your ability to call this energy in okay, to call this person in, to call this energy in, but whatever energy or person you want to call in, you need to be calling it in for yourself as well. And your ability to do that is high, it's very high. Can you see as well in both the Sun card and in the Queen of Cups card, we have this surrender, we've got this open open arm stance and here with the queen of cups open to receiving the messages open to the downloads really interesting open to those downloads and to those messages i'm just going to take one oracle card to go with the downloads and the messages so i'm going to take from heart path oracle card so just think we need to know at this juncture, a little bit of a message for that. What do we need to be concentrating on in our meditations, in our alone time, in our separations, and in our lovely, beautiful Queen of Cups surrender state? And when I say surrender, I don't mean surrender as in I'm waving the white flag, you know, I'm, I'm going to put up with anything bad. That's not what I mean by surrender. I mean a strong, vulnerable, open surrender with those boundaries, okay? But knowing yourself enough and knowing your boundaries enough with this particular specific person that you feel safe to journey along and feel safe to be as open and as authentic as you can as yourself, okay? Kind of made sense, didn't it, in the end? Right, let's get the card. Oh, it's that one. Wow, oh, okay, we got two. Okay, 
we get looping, the cycle of life and death. Honour, bless and release the past. This is a large part of your connection with this person, a very large part of your connection with this person. I would say that look at full moon energy for this, for releasing, okay? So get a moon diary, get an app, have a look, find out, Google it, doesn't matter how you do it. Get that moon diary and find out when the full moon seasons are, okay? And the eclipses as well, we've got eclipses from 2023 starting in April. We also had eclipses in November, October of this year and also April and May of this year. So go back to those times, see what was specific and what was going on for you. But this is about releasing. You met this person, I'm going to put that one up there. Um, you met this person in order to release something for both of you. That is both the light and the shadow side. But that is definitely not easy, it's not linear, it's not straightforward, okay? This is so beautiful. And then also this one fell out, heart, mind, transformative space. You make a difference. Isn't this gorgeous? Now this is, I'll just let you look at that one a bit longer for the imagery. I love that we've got a rabbit in there as well and the lovebirds. Okay, again, I really see this as opening the doorway. Can you see there's this open doorway? There's something very 5D about this relationship that any meeting or any contact or anything that happens with this person has an equivalent happening in the 5D that corresponds to it. And I know that sounds really weird, but it's like a parallel energy. Like if you imagine, and I have, no, I've got loads of channeling happening. I'm getting like a real, um, almost a, a medicine pot or a cauldron or whatever you want to call where you would mix magic. And I don't like giving it a name because I just don't. Um, if you think about, I'm getting an image of that, that there is like an alchemy that's going on, if we think of it as a metaphysical pot in the 5D, you and this person are adding your ingredients. And what that's doing, almost in a quantum way, and this is all getting a bit wacky, it's changing the energy in the 3D. But you don't really know how, but you probably ac access it through Queen of Cups not through your logical mind, but through your heart mind, okay? Crock, I'm only just keeping up with this. I can't wait for the extended. We're gonna go even even more channely. Woohoo, God. If we make it that far, right, come on. What else do we need to know, please? Definitely needed to do this today. Oh yes, right. There are times, there are times, this is a very 3D card. I love this card, I love this deck. A very 3D card, keep your hands on your purse. Okay, she's got a hand on her purse, but she's calm about it and she's not, she ain't gonna remove it anytime soon, okay? Different energy, if you look just at the way she's holding her body, to this spiritual openness, to this strong surrender. And even this is like a strong surrender, but this, there are going to be times in your journey. Remember, this is a timeless reading, so you're gonna get this whenever you need to hear it. There are going to be times with this person when you will need to step into boundary more than others. And you will need to intuit that through your Queen of Cups energy and then move between the two energies, the energy of open, vulnerable, strong surrender and the energy of snapping shut when that's needed. Because this is about taking care of yourself, of your well-being. It's not necessarily, you know, giving the other person what for or anything like that. It's about establishing your own rules body and soul, because 
these kinds of connections that you have with this this person are very all-encompassing and they're very overwhelming because you're traveling between the 3d and the 5d and this looping of the cycle of life and death that we talked about here and also releasing of the past releasing of your shadow side healing your wounds and the other person doing the same and it could be as well and we're going to see in a minute when we take a few more cards that the other person isn't as awake to this as you are okay so when the time is right when it's called for and you will know when that is you snap the emotional purse shut you keep yourself to yourself for these times. You make your boundaries more external and you do gatekeeping with the Four of Pentacles, Sun in Capricorn this card. You exercise your emotional gatekeeping. And what this does is it shapes the relationship. It makes you a leader in some ways, but it's a strong feminine energy leader because it teaches this person how to treat you when that is needed, okay? Gosh. Let me try and get my camera right, okay. Oh, hello. I'm gonna take two on that one. Okay, for many of you at the time at which you find this reading, you're in a hiatus in this relationship. You are suspended in some way. There is some thinking time, some separation, some downtime, whatever you wanna call it, okay? Four of Cups, this is a time when you slip into emotional neutral. It's a time when there are a lot of feelings knocking around with this person. There'll be a lot of overwhelm for you. There can be a lot of overwhelm for them. There's a general feeling of being almost washed out by this. Um, I know that normally we use burnt out for something, but I'm not getting burnt out because it just feels a bit too violent for this. This is like washed out overwhelm, okay? A feeling of um, just being very taken over by the energy of it. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. Love this card. Finding your own feet, finding your independence within this situation. And this doesn't mean being single or being separate from this person. It means being really, really strong and still in with this person if that's what you want. But you're building yourself up from the inside because you and I love how this pentacle corresponds over here with the king of pentacles they will pick up on that and they will appreciate that earthy quality this is Venus in Virgo this card Virgo being the earth sign and, Vir and Venus being the planet of love you're building up your independence here you're building up your independence within this relationship because what I'm also picking up here and I don't get any difficult cards actually, you know, for sneakiness or secrets or any of that stuff really. But what I'm picking up on here, and I don't want to call it a weakness in your specific person. It doesn't feel necessarily like a weakness, but they're not as aware as you are. They're not. And that doesn't mean you need to teach them by telling them by writing to them, by sending them long messages. In fact, I don't think that that will work. It really does work. I don't know if you've noticed that, but whenever you sort of key yourself up to send some really long message to someone, it feels good for about an hour and then your energy comes back to you and it doesn't necessarily serve the situation. What I'm getting here is that you serve yourself first in this scenario. And very much this is what the person wants for you as well. This is what the King of Pentacles wants. Those two pentacles, you show up with your pentacle, I'll show up with my pentacle. 
we will both be fully grown, okay? And sometimes that can only happen in separation. And sometimes that can only happen when you're together, but it does need to happen, okay? It's like a wholeness and a healing that needs to happen. Okay, we get the Two of Pentacles, Jupiter in Capricorn. There is a need when we have Jupiter in Capricorn to change the way that things are in the 3D and this will come, okay? This will come from this and from that. This is your own thinking time, your Queen of Cups time, your intuitive time, you're getting your downloads time, you're going into emotional neutral, you're stopping yourself from feeling defeated, overwhelmed, or however it is that you feel at those times, okay? You're stocking your cupboard, your emotional larder is stopped. This can be by doing physical things like yoga, like walking, like anything you like, because they're very personal how phys physical things work. Earthing yourself, feeding yourself well, loving yourself, looking after yourself, connecting with friends, all of those things, um, loving your research, loving what you do. And then we come to the 3D. This is, we've got the infinity symbol. The person is always spinning things through the infinity symbol with the two of pentacles. Something catches up and changes with this and it's a beautiful energy to have, okay? And let's have a look a bit more at that. Yes, love that she's right underneath the Queen of Cups. Then we drop into Queen of Wands energy. You become a lot more whole and a lot more confident. And we're kind of, I mean, the Queen of Wands is almost known as the Diva Queen, which is a lovely energy. She has the energy of knowing what she wants and almost by magic, exercising what her boundaries are and putting it out there absolutely knowing what they are okay beautiful energy for the queen of wands you drop into queen of wands energy from this queen of cups energy and it feels it just feels so easy and guess what your person picks up on this and what this does is it lifts it lifts the relationship. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. Hang on. <laughs> well, well, well. How fantastic is that? We get that gorgeous Ace of Cups coming straight after the Queen of Wands. We elevate it. We elevate it until it lifts the relationship. This is a beautiful energy to find yourself in. Absolutely gorgeous, okay? Beautiful, beautiful energy. Ultimately, this is where you started, okay? This is where you started with this person. This is the original energy that brought you together. And you have with this person a, a journey here, you do. And it takes you through a cycle of life and death, the releasing of the past. It takes you through finding yourself as a human, as an intimate person, as a lover, as a spiritual person, finding your place in the world. And also as a leader, as the transformation itself happens in you, Ace of Cups. And just strangely, you may come to teach this to others. Isn't that strange? You may come to teach this to others. God, I love that. Absolutely love that. It's like a hero's journey almost, coming full circle from the light to the light, but you will encounter some shadow along the way, as you may be and probably are 
right now as you find this reading. Gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go and do the extended. We're gonna use all these cards on the table. I'm going to explore the shadow side of this relationship, the obstacles. I'm gonna look at channeled messages from your person and channeled messages from you to yourself. I don't even know what that is yet. <sighs> the link is below, it's in the description box. You click more or read or whatever it is that's underneath whatever the YouTube description box thing is these days under the video. I would love to see you on the other side. Oh, namaste.